Hey team, we're going to learn how to fetch GraphQL data using Apollo Client in Next.js. I'm Colby Fayok, and if this is your first time here, make sure you hit subscribe for future updates. GraphQL is a query language that allows us to define the data we want and get it straight from our API. It allows us to query complex relationships, so we don't have to make multiple requests to an API in order to get a full set of data. To make this request, we're going to use the Apollo GraphQL Client. Using their library, we'll be able to hook right in and make that request just like we would any other REST API client. And for our data, we're going to use the SpaceX GraphQL server. It will allow us to search for the most recent launches, that way we can show them right in our page. And we're going to do this all inside of Next.js. Particularly, we're going to request our data inside of Get Static Props so we can have our data available at compile time. So to get started, I'm going to spin up a new Next.js app using Create Next App. Inside my terminal, I'm going to run yarn create next app my SpaceX launches. And once it's done, I can cd into my new directory and start my development server. And I can click on localhost 3000 and we can see our new app. Next, in order to use Apollo, we want to install the Apollo client along with GraphQL as another dependency. So inside of my project, I'm going to run yarn add Apollo and GraphQL. Now I can spin back up my development server. Now looking at our app, we're going to take this page and we're going to transform the cards into different SpaceX launches. We probably also want this title to be a little bit more descriptive. So I'm going to start by inside of my homepage code. I'm going to change the welcome sign to SpaceX launches, and I'm going to change the description to latest launches from SpaceX. Now if we look at our page, we can see that we've already updated the title. Now, as we're going through this app, we want to make a request out to our SpaceX API, where we can then take that data and inject it into our app. Like we mentioned before, we're going to use get static props. What that will do is allow us to make our request to the API right inside of this function, which will make that data available as a prop inside of our app. So first we want to define that function. So below our homepage code, we're going to export a new async function called get static props. And to start, we're going to return a new object, which inside of that has a property of props, which also is going to be a new object. To test this out, let's first add our launches property, which will be our data and an empty array. For now, because we're defining that new prop, we can destructure our launches data straight from our homepage function. And let's add a console log statement for launches. That way we can see what's actually inside. So back inside of our app, we can see if we open up the developer tools that we're logging out that prop. Now it's currently an empty array because that's how we're defining it at the bottom of our page under get static props which we can see right here. So for our page, we wanna actually display the different launches. So for our page, we're gonna reach out to the SpaceX GraphQL server so we can get those latest launches. To start, I'm gonna first import the dependencies I need from the Apollo client, which is the Apollo client itself in memory cache, which is gonna be the caching mechanism. So when Apollo makes a request, it can read against cache first and also GQL, which is gonna allow us to define our GraphQL queries. Now to make that request using Apollo, we're gonna first need to define a new client. So we're gonna create a new constant called client and we're gonna set that equal to a new instance of Apollo client where we're gonna pass in a new object where we're gonna set the URI of that object to the SpaceX GraphQL endpoint. We're also gonna set the cache property which we're gonna to set to a new instance of in memory cache. So at this point we have our new client, we can actually make our request. So now I'm gonna actually make the query. So first I'm gonna await this new query. Since we're in an async function, we can run the await command just like a promise and we can run client.query and we're gonna pass in a new object for our configuration. Now inside of that new object, we wanna define a new property called query where we're gonna use the GQL tag to create a new string. We're inside here, we're gonna paste in our GraphQL query. Now for our query inside of SpaceX land, we can use graphical to define what our query looks like. Here I'm grabbing a few things like the ID, the mission name, the launch date. I'm also setting a limit to 10, so I'm only gonna grab the last 10 missions. But with that, I can copy this query and I can paste it right into that string. Now finally, because this will ultimately return some data, we wanna grab that data. So I know that the top level object is gonna be a data property, so I'm gonna destructure that and grab the data from that query. To test this out, I'm gonna console log out our data objects. And if we reload the page, we actually don't see it inside of our web console. So when our get static props function runs, it's at compile time when it's actually trying to build the page. So that means it's not gonna run inside of the browser, it's gonna run on node. But if we open up our terminal, we can see that data is being logged right from node. We can even see here that our data is included in an array inside of the key launches passed. So instead of this empty array, I'm gonna change this to data.launchesPast. And now because I'm already defining the launches prop inside of the top of my function and also console logging it out, if I refresh the page, I can see that in the console, I can now see those 10 results along with all the launch data. So now that we have all that launch data inside of our app, let's use it to build our UI. To do this, we're gonna reuse those cards that we already have. To start, I'm gonna use the launches prop that we're creating and I'm gonna run the map function. So for each launch, I'm gonna run this code. In particular, I'm gonna return a new component, which is gonna be a new instance of these cards. 
So if we look at the data, there's a few things that we immediately want to use. We want to use the mission name, which we're going to use as our title, and we can use the ID as the key on all of our React elements. So in the code, I'm going to change the H3 to launch.mission name. And if I look at the page, I can see that it's already showing me all those 10 mission names. If you notice, it's also showing those original four at the bottom. So now that we're defining our map, we can get rid of those and clean things up. Next, I want to define a key on each of my elements inside of the map function, and we can use launch.id. Now, instead of this description, we can change it to the date. So we're going to put launch launch date local, and we can even add a label that says launch time, and we can see all of our times. We can even make that a little bit more human readable by using the new date object, and then we can transform it into a local string, which will give us our standard date. Now, finally, we also get a link to the launch video. So for each of these cards, we can link it to that video with the video link. So instead of this href, I'm going to change it to launch.links.video link. Now, if I go back to the app and I click on one of these cards, we can see that it actually takes me to YouTube where I can see the launch. Now, we're not going to go through adding every single one of these fields to our app, but there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Like, for instance, there's a mission patch, which if we look at this field inside of our browser, we can see that it's a nice little image that we can surface inside of our app. And if we wanted even more data than that, there's a ton of things that we can add, like the different information for the rockets, the crews, anything you really want to know about each of those SpaceX missions. If you follow along with me, you created a new Next.js app that shows the last launches from SpaceX. We used Apollo Client to query that GraphQL data from the SpaceX API. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. Thanks for watching.